today I'm going to show you how to make an adorable whale for Valentine's Day. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks. I'm a full-time balloon artist here in Derbyshire in the East Midlands. Take a 260 in a shade of blue to represent the sea. I'm using a pearl azure. And we're going to make a flower petal base. So make a bubble of three to four fingers, a flower petal uh, loop, and then pull that nozzle through to secure it. Give your balloon a squeeze and then make another bubble to match. And carry on making the loops for your flower petal base. And you can make five or six, whichever, if you want to go for seven, that's fine. Uh, however many loops you like to do for your flower petal bases. So if you're comfortable with five, do five. If you prefer six, then do six. And then once you've made your flower, just arrange the petals. Next, take a little bit of scrap 160, it doesn't matter what colour, and tie some knots into the scrap. You just want to make um, two or three knots at the same spot. We're making what we call raisins, okay? So those are little knots together. And then just trim off the ends so that you've got a little piece like this, a little cluster of knots, and we want two of those. And take those two raisins and insert them into the neck of your five inch round. So just put those into the five inch, and when you've put your raisins inside your five inch round, you just want to inflate that. And I've over inflated because I want to stretch out the balloon a little bit. And I'm letting that down to, I don't know, about four inches or so, and then tie. And pull that nozzle slightly, and you want to be able to push the air into the neck of the balloon. So that, that five inch round is quite soft and malleable. And next we want to find one of our raisins and we want to grab, grab hold of it somewhere at the bottom of the balloon, about there, and then twist. Take a little piece of 160 scrap and just wrap that around the raisins that you've got hold of and then tie. And once that knot is secure, I can let go, and I like to tie that a second time. Next, we want to position our second raisin at the top of the whale's head. So just turn your balloon upside down and try and get your raisin to the point where you want it to be, and grab hold of it. And once you've got hold of it, Give your balloon a twist and take a little bit of scrap 160 wrap that around a couple of times and tie as we did before so this is what you've got at the moment and we can squeeze the air into that tail and give it a bit of shape tail area starting to look vaguely whale shape. Next, take a 160, I'm using a Caribbean blue. Twist off a bubble of a couple of fingers and then make another bubble of perhaps about four fingers, followed by another bubble that is a finger or so longer and twist those together and just use that first bubble to lock in position. So we're making the, um, the, the tail, the, the fin for our whale and we're doing it in the same way as we made the fins for the mermaid, if you see my uh, mermaid video. 
So we're making the fins the same way and we're making another bubble to match this one and then another bubble to match this first, this second one here. And then when we've got that, just wrap the two together and then we want to make another little bubble of a couple of fingers and we'll turn that into a pinch twist. Okay. At this point you can break the rest off and tie. And then take this first bubble and just turn that into a pinch twist as well. Okay, so we've got a pinch twist on either side of our tail fin. Take your whale's body and just wrap that nozzle into those two pinch twists. Next, take a 160. I'm using a pearl white 160. I actually prefer this design uh, in a diamond clear 160, um, but that doesn't show up terribly well on camera. So for, for filming poi poises, I'm using white. You're gonna have to tell me what you think of that, um, that pun. <laughs> I worked on that for a long time. So uh, make a, a two finger bubble followed by another two finger bubble and bring those together, wrap them together and just use that uh, bit of uh, nozzle to pinch twist those two. And then make another two finger bubble and pinch twist that. So you've got a little trio of pinch twists. Okay. And then we want to make a bubble that's perhaps about four fingers or so long and then make three more two finger pinch twists. So I just squeeze off a bubble and pinch twist and squeeze off a third bubble and pinch twist that. And then wrap the rest of that 260 in and you can break off the rest and tie. Next, take a six inch heart. I've used a pearl ruby red and I've not inflated this very much, uh, but I have pushed the air uh, into the balloon so that the lobes are, you can just see the lobes. Uh, for this design, you don't want the heart to be full of, fully inflated, otherwise it just overwhelms the, the design. Um, if you want to use a fully inflated six inch heart, then I would recommend um, upsizing your uh, whale body balloon to an 11 inch. Okay, so take the uh, nozzle of your heart and just wrap it in to one of those clusters of three pinch twists and just trim off the nozzle. Then take your whale and trying to remember which way was which. Uh, so this is the top of the whale's head. Then just use that bit of 160 just to wrap into that bit of that white uh, 160 there. And then we can take our whale's body and just using those 160 tails, just pull those through into the flower base. So for this particular design, I like to have the eyes uh, quite widely spaced. So I really hope you like this design and that you can get a lot of use out of it. It's one that my customers like and I hope yours will too. So please do let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave me a comment. How are you able to, to use this design? Is this something that you're going to make? I would love to know. And I'd love to see your variations of this design. So be sure to head over to Balloon Artworks Academy, my Facebook page. Join me there. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I'll see you there. And feel free to post your pictures in the closed group of your versions of this design. I learn as much from you guys as you do from me. So please do post those pictures. I love seeing them and seeing, you know, what you guys do with the designs that, that the base designs that, that I come up with. Um, you're so creative and please, please do keep posting your pictures. I love to see them. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. I publish videos every Tuesday, tips and tutorials on balloon art. If there's anything particular that you're interested in, in learning about, then again, leave me a message in the comments below and I'll add it to the list for future videos. 
and I'll see you again in the next video. Happy Valentine's Day.